Welcome to our very first On Fire Family happy hour. We are going to periodically crack some beers and look at some boats. One of the most frequently asked questions that we get is, what boat are you taking on this great loop adventure? And my hobby, every single hour of every single day, is to look at boats. I have done it for years, and so I love this stuff. And if you do too, come along. And uh, we've not pre-reviewed um, this together. It's not scripted. This is just us looking up things and um, going for it. So we're going to Yacht World today, and this is some of our normal kind of search parameters. I we're, wouldn't say we. Okay, me. And we're looking for a 42 to 50 foot boat. Uh, sun deck is something that's come up in our previous searches. And uh, honestly, we're looking in the $100,000 <clears> range and less. So let's see what we've got. I want it to be fancy. And I want it to be mechanically sound so that we don't spend half of our great loop in a boatyard. So here we go. Uh, this is something that's come up in some of our other searches before, a CHB yeah. uh, Seamaster Sun Deck. It's a little over a price range at 115, but uh, this is in an area of the country that makes sense for us, Chesapeake, Virginia. And we know Curtis Stokes and Associates quite well. They are AGLCA sponsors of the Great Loop uh, Cruise Association. And so let's click on this guy and Reputable. we'll just talk through it and uh, see what we've got. So honest feedback. Uh, well, we'll, we don't, we'll, we'll go through the description, but this is a 1987. First, first look. Uh, and it is uh, 48 foot, twin diesel, uh, like we said, Chesapeake, Virginia, which is where we kind of would be okay starting our loop. Uh, the name of this boat is Fruition, and looks like it's new to the market, uh, and it was on the Great Loop and performing well uh, for 2,000 miles. So this is something that's desirable for us because yeah. if you have a loop-capable boat, that means it has it. the draft that it is necessary. Yeah. It can fit under the bridges. It's mechanically equipped to do it. Uh, it sounds it's like diesel. Sound, it diesel. Yeah, it sounds like this is shortly into the loop at two thousand miles, not the six thousand miles the loop requires. So maybe something happened, plans changed. Uh, retired tug captain, so probably a knowledgeable captain, his wife, unforeseen family event. Okay, so there you go. So they ended their loop, right. and they have this boat for sale, uh, which is probably why she's listed with Curtis Stokes. And uh, modified V hull, fifteen B, B hard chines. Look at early later. Uh, full length keel, interior spacious, two staterooms forward. Uh, so we have two kids. So two staterooms forward sounds amazing to us because we will be aft and right. uh, away yeah. from those two. And children. they're uh, one girl, one boy, so different genders, and so uh, we would like them to be in different places because they will both be uh, teens when we go on the Great Loop. So midships, office stateroom. Ah, I think that means two berths forward and maybe the midships office stateroom is back in, uh, near the aft cabin. We'll, we'll have a look well, in the we'll pictures for that. Uh, interior warm look, abundance of teak cabinetry. I am a wooden boat guy. Here's a wooden boat. We are uh, into wood around here. Uh, it doesn't scare us off, either exterior bright work or interior. And so that's appealing. Uh, galley down. Uh, some people don't like galley down. I don't mind it. Uh, we don't spend a lot of time in the galley. I like to grill outside, so... Um, and I don't like to cook, so... It works for us. Includes a booth-style table, uh, seating for four adults. So booth-style table usually drops down, and that's another berth, and that's one option for it. If it doesn't have a three-stateroom configuration, our son might call that his stateroom. So that's something we interesting. And I've not seen this before on a boat this size, three heads. So we'll have wow. to look into that. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, aft deck is roomy and enclosed with U-zip windows. We like kind of outdoors like and um, we can zip them up to be open or sunscreens or um, bug screens would be wet awesome. Bar. Wet bar. Wet bar on, sounds on nice. That. And wing doors that open on both sides. So we got walk around. Uh, this doesn't have a cockpit, I don't believe. Uh, yeah, no, no aft cockpit, right. so it's kind of a flush. Um, when you said first yeah. impressions, that was my first impression. Configuration, like so we would love a cockpit, uh, but when 48 feet without a cockpit, there's going to be a lot of interior room, oh, I think. Roomy. 
Uh, Flybridge is large with clear enclosures, so seating for eight adults. We will be, you know, four people, so Good eight for adults sounds just fine. So we can invite you along. So let's go just look through the pictures and see what we think. So I, I don't mind the flush deck uh, except for line handling in and out of docks and locks and things like and this. groceries on the boat. Groceries are, will be, um, well, you come up this, right, in the middle and climb the, the okay. ladder yeah, you can on board pass them up rather than go on a swim step and try to get in. Uh, I like the dinghy storage on top of the sun deck. It's a pain in the butt to get your dinghy down. You can do some swim deck mounted dinghy things, but... Uh, I like the look and styling and configuration of this boat. Like, 80s boats, I much prefer to, like, late 90s Silvertons and uh, Carvers and things that just look a little more plasticky and, and fake. So, uh, I like the overall look of the boat. It's... Um, On the outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure about that brown right there. I don't know what that is, but... This is the famous mustache that you get while... All right. Transiting the Great Loop. <laughs> this is the tannins in the water, and it can be taken off with lemon juice. And we have two kids, and so scurvy, that scurvy. should be easy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fruition, fruition here. So again, I, I don't mind that the dinghy is up top. I think for ease of launch, it'd be nice to just have it tilt up on the swim step or have davits uh, below. But that's something else you can add yeah. uh, at some expense. But no no big deal and that's um, a pretty sturdy looking um swim ladder yeah uh to climb up mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. our kids love to swim they'll be in and out in and out oh so here we go our first look at the interior of the boat it looks like we got bunks up front rather than like a v-berth with a queen okay. berth uh galley down again so we down a few steps here dinette off to the uh, port side and as seth mentioned we like we like having all the wood i mean it, it is kind of 90s wood um and the upholstery but uh we like e even though it's you know a fiberglass boat um having wood on the inside will make us you know feel like we're at home yeah uh so in the salon looks like i don't know kind of dated oh my gosh she totally had and, like that bedspread um, in college yeah, right uh so stairs up to the sun deck over here down to the aft cabin it looks like down there looks pretty good to me uh oh it looks like no helm station uh down yeah, so maybe only on the flybridge to be piloting this bad boy. Mm, that might be hard so i think i think with weather. with the three staterooms we won't need to use this as a primary for our well, son see him. but we will see him and, and one of our nice. ideas though fit all four of us comfortably. would be to um put like a curtain rod along here mm -hmm. and uh snaps along here zipper and then uh and kind of enclose this as a, a private stateroom for one child because they're not gonna love as teenagers probably sleeping on bunks but knowing ours they probably will they're small um, they run small so we got, looks like a cu oven? couple of toaster ovens, yeah. and I like the full-size fridge. We're a family of four. We're going to need probably a full-size fridge. I don't really like the like tiny little... Uh, I like the split sink, because in our current um, cabin cruiser, one sink, and so everything's just all yeah. together. I like the split sink, and it looks like it's relatively full-size. The tiny baby sinks uh, uh, are yeah. not... I really like the cabinets in there. Like, all the oak is kind of, wow, a lot of orange. But I like this it in the kitchen. This will be teak, I think. Oh, is it? And, but which is yeah, yeah but it's like a honey oakish color. Right? Yeah. I get, get what you're talking about. It's kind yeah. of a dated thing. And mirrors always kind of like date it, but uh, it makes <laughs> it, it look twice bigger. as big. Yeah. Uh, looks like the kids get stereo sound up here. Bunks. Uh, this is probably a tiny desk. I think we can. Uh, well, we're gonna homeschool on the boat. Oh, and we so homeschool now, so we'll homeschool on the boat. Having people, but they frequently school from. Uh, beds and the couches and, and yeah. coffee tables so uh this looks like we're heading aft and i think this is where we're gonna enter that uh midship stateroom or office and so uh that's in the aft part of the boat not in the fore then so and this is that, oh, probably that office. office so i think this is like dual bunks this is a, a bunk up here and a bunk down here what? uh but this is a turn you know it's a desk right now uh, in this view but so. we could turn it into a third bedroom yeah, and I think that's the original layout that it With was. Or a lot of that's times cool. they have a flip down. Uh, so, oh, in fact, okay. this may be. So, you flip this up and it's like a, a berth Murphy underneath. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the desk flips down. So, it could be a study area and a bunk for a child, which would nice. be kind of epic. And it looks like it has its own door, uh, which 
would be right. kind of cool. Uh, this is the aft um, stateroom. stateroom. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if this is a queen or king, but it looks gigantic. Well, I was just changing the sheets on our small cabin cruiser bed, and there's only you only only get to the bed from one side. So I said I want a bed that I can walk around to change the sheets because basically changing sheets on our boat now is like changing sheets on a bunk bed, and it's terrible. So, got lots of mirrors in the bedroom here for us. <laughs> and uh, looks like lots of storage too. Drawers, cabinets. Yeah, uh, it looks like your parents' RV. It does feel a little bit like that. Um, but maybe with more wood. Well, but with the more, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, I have no idea which head this is, but it looks like... I bet uh, it's the aft one. Sometimes with the... You can't tell if it's a wet head or uh, that has a shower. This looks like it could have a shower right here. And, but this kind of teak grid sometimes indicates that it's a wet head. And wet head to me is not preferred because you have like a, in fact, I think that might be what we got going here because this is two faucets. There's a door right there. Yeah, no, that might be the door to get in. Uh, I don't know. So so the way, uh, for, if you don't know, wet head, it just has a, a faucet with a hand shower. So you can sit on the uh, toilet. toilet and then hose yourself down and water will go everywhere, including wetting your toilet paper and all this your wood and like drying it out with like a towel. It just doesn't seem ideal. We've never had one, but uh, that's because we are averse to those. So, oh, the mirror can sometimes give us a clue. So it looks like we're looking through a door here into this right. head. Sounds and so good. we might have hope that there's a shower <laughs> over there. Uh, there's still not that. Oh, this is a different head because the toilet's on the oh, other the side. Oh, the toilet's on the other side. It, we did oh, a weird, weird. switcher room or a mirror image. Maybe it's a mirror image. I, no, I don't know. It, oh, I know oh, here. Oh, shower. So one, one head at least has a stand-up shower and that's really what we're that's going That's all for. I need. We would love two stand-up showers. That would be our ideal. Uh, and laundry. Yay! And so this looks somewhat modern actually. So this is probably washer and dryer. Mm. Don't, don't know, um, but that would be preferred like for our Europe? family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We would just constantly be going. So here oh, we're on the sun deck. I like the Navy. I uh, don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I, I particularly don't. Color uh, commentary. Well, I, I would prefer the the wood aft deck. And maybe this has a wood uh, aft deck underneath this kind of carpet? blue carpet. But um, And it looks like we've got some sun shades in addition to the uh, clear glass. And we've got some zippers to open it up. So we can have actual sun? Yeah. But it's still under a hard. I like the, uh, so this is the door to the salon and then stairs up to the flybridge and these wing doors. I like that they're oh, wood okay. framed and they're not uh, canvas. I just think they're, it's a high traffic area. You're coming in and out. And I think mm -hmm. with canvas, you, you pretty much just don't use them. You just mm -hmm. leave them open all the time and that, and maybe on the loop, that's the thing that we want. I like the, the wide yeah. walk around. I like, the, I do the, most of the walking around, so I like it. And good hand rails and stanchions and things. We just replaced the stanchions on our boat All the this stanchions last weekend. on and, the lower level. And it's, um, that's a lot of stanchions that we had to replace them. We need to make sure nothing's wiggly ever. Um, both sides looks like. And then, yeah, stairs up to the flybridge. I didn't notice coming up to that, but um, we have a dog, and dogs can handle stairs pretty well, but they can't handle ladders at all. And our dog's kind of a uh, lazy dog, so she may not be able to and even she's handle small. those small. She stairs. might not be able to handle those. So she stairs. might need a help. She'll whine at the bottom and require us to come up. So here we are on the flybridge. Uh, looks like a good home station uh, for the captain, but not a lot of like. But buddy, uh, uh, like snuggling up and looking out <laughs> as a family. Like I could see somebody sitting over here, somebody over here. But he wants to have like a bench seat so he can be like, uh, yeah, right. Uh, it looks like we got some modern electronics on this boat though. So like a big Garmin screen and a Ferrino something or other, uh, and a newer-ish VHF. Uh, looks like a nice simple layout. I, you know, that'd be nice mm -hmm. and uh, good, good glass all around the top. Uh, zippable, which would get a lot of ventilation on super hot days. Uh, so this is looking aft, so you see the dinghy up there and then down to the sun deck. And I see. looks like a couple of kids could sit over here and do studies. There's a table up there, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. That is nice. Where you, um, you can eat up there. It's like a nice newer, newer dinghy, newer motor. 
-hmm. And again, yeah, it looks like newer electronics up here. Again, it looks like a single home station for the whole boat. And then again, we've got some uh, limitations on the height for us on the Great Loop, and maybe that's why they've got these stickies here. That's absolutely why it has a stickies. So stickies if you've got the antenna up, you're 21 feet, running light, and radar antenna. So we can get down. Is that down good? To, is 18 good? I think 18 is good. I think the 18 is right where you want to be. And sometimes you get clues from things that are in the picture here. So we've got a windless control up and down from right here on the, the mm -hmm. helm. So you're not doing a floor uh, foot mounted up on the very front. Uh, so the person that's driving can can raise and lower the that's anchor that's uh, here from the flybridge. Oh, nice. And then I have no idea what this means. Parallel stop uh, and a couple of toggle switches and who knows what. But uh, And then something more modern. Maybe this is an autopilot. I think an autopilot is something we want to have for sure. And this, could be, uh, this is probably radar. I think I saw a radar uh, mm -hmm. on the top. Uh, Newer-ish Garmin GPS um, chart plotter, uh, VHF, an old compass, and or pro. Is this the generator? Maybe. Probably generator. And, oh, is um, it like a re reverse camera? Ah, yeah, you're right. That's a camera. Nice. So we got a backup camera, so we can see down there. Uh, make sure we don't lose a kid off the swim step. Or a wife. Or yeah. a wife. And here we go. So in the wow. engine room. So it looks fairly well lit. You can't tell sometimes in these stock photos with the flash. It can make it look better exactly. than it is. But honestly, these look like cleans. These are Caterpillar. looks like 3208s. And they look like they're nice and clean. The bilge is nice and clean. There's a little mat down there, but we're used to such things. Uh, kind of... Yeah, it looks like this is probably in the floor of the salon. You can pull up these panels, mm -hmm. uh, but it looks like we have access possibly through it's the front and fairly tall. If you can see the tubs, you know, right? That, yeah, it's, it's, not it's, not not it's not a walk-in. It's not a walk-in engine room. A crouch-in, but... Oh, but a crouch-in, which is better than my climb in through the top hatch yeah. and then crouch. And we got some cool stuff. We got like an extra gauge set down here in the engine room. It looks like there's tons of tool and and whatnot storage, and we've got. Uh, fire suppression uh, bottles and uh, diesel filters down here. So, oh, it looks like a remote start even to be able to try oh, to shoot from, from inside. There. So I don't have to, hey, turn on the engine. <laughs> uh, we've got a battery bank. So I don't have any idea how many house batteries, whatnot. And they're probably showing here that they're recent mm. upgrades. Some kind of pump. More batteries. Oh, nice. So yeah, so I think is that water? no, this is a generator. So Norpro, oh. uh, I don't know if that's Northern Lights or that's a, some brand I don't know about, but it looks newish and it looks um, probably, oh. probably like a good one. It looks like a spare prop mounted in here. Ah, oh, that's good. Um, yeah, because you're gonna hit something. C strainer, and um, you know we're used to the vintage of, that this is uh, with this kind of stuff but mm -hmm. you know we're going to get a survey and we'll know what we need to watch out for we have the almost this exact water heater in our boat right now okay. although older I know, and been down there. more crappy i'd say than this <laughs> more rusted uh we got some kind of weirdness uh and i think we're back to the beginning and so i don't know overall impressions 48 foot chb uh uh, I mean, it's an amazing Seamus. size, and to have three bedrooms would totally be a luxury. And then even you have a little guest room in the with the extra bunks and right. um, the dining room. Mm -hmm. And I really do like a open air cockpit, though. Like, yeah, they use all that. I feel like this is a good use of space. The forty eight feet. I think. I'm worried. I think you can do this exact same thing in forty two feet. Like I've seen. You're right. Like. 42 foot boats that have similar layouts, they may lose the third stateroom. Right. Which I think is a luxury. The thing is, is you have to weigh 42 feet versus 48 feet in a marina. So you're, you're dealing with an extra six feet per marina stay yeah. for a couple hundred stays. Yeah. And so is that cost? And plus it's probably a little less fuel efficient with a little uh, extra length. Um, anything in the size is going to be totally fine for the loop. The yeah. locks and... I'm really surprised that um, of the two bathrooms, didn't it say three though? 
It did, and we probably, it, I, but I don't know, it'd be nice to see a layout on it. Right, like, yeah. Oh, uh, a layout could, picture would be great. See, but the, one here, of them was, some a, full was a wet head. Yeah, maybe. Uh, or maybe the other one isn't? Or maybe it's just three heads and two showers? So these are, are in fact, the 3208 diesels. Let's look at the hours. Oh, so 7,000 hours, uh, which is like a, a goodly amount of hours. So the boat's been used. And I, I think that's more preferred in these diesel motors rather than a kind of a Marina Queen that has never seen right. very much action that's just sat there. Okay, so six single berths, four cabins. So that's the, the four, the salon, the um, kind of the, the aft office mm -hmm. stateroom, and then the, the full aft. Mm -hmm. uh, and it does say three heads. So I don't know where they cram them all. Yeah. But um, so maybe they got three. And maybe if we read this in more detail. Two good ones and one oh, with Oh, 360 degrees, cut and paste in the browser. So, I don't know. Do you want to see any of these in particular? Probably not. Oh, I'm kind of... good pictures of those. Yeah. There's not one really... For a <laughs> The, um... Uh... Yeah. Oh, the office. Let's let's just give this guy a shot. See if we can find that they have this. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay, well, maybe we can do it in the same room then. So it just looks like it's configured as a desk right now, maybe semi-permanently, rather than have this down low where it would be one bunk and maybe that's how it's configured, but you would just maybe angle this up, drop it down one level, and there's your your bunk, and then mm -hmm. here's your second bunk. I think a lot of these pictures sometimes uh, mess with it, and it's like there could this is, could be the other head. Oh, yeah. So just maybe a, it's just a head. Just, just across the hall is a head, and then maybe and back in shot. the aft stateroom is a is a the head too. If there were two, uh, you want to look at the forest air. Yeah. If there were two stand-up showers and there was yeah, one wet head, that'd be fine. So there's like a dude. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we're on the top of uh, the, this uh, is the upper bunk. Yeah. Now we're looking forward. And uh, yeah. so I don't know if this is just a, this is a, this must be a head, right? Inside the forward stateroom. Wow. I thought cool. a lot of configurations, you go out the door and then there's the head. So if it was all self-contained, that'd be pretty killer. That would be killer. Um, for whoever stays here. And then probably a standing locker on the other side of it, so. Is there one for the aft stateroom? Master's. master's there you go. Oh. On the master's ticket. Maybe in the future we'll queue these up. Mm. But um you know what i like too is there's not like a ton of uh tvs and electronics and things around yeah i don't get a lot of detail from this yeah. so Same it, as it looks pictures. like this is a big swinging door this way and i think we're looking into the stand-up shower there and so and this is the master door so if we go straight out probably we have another head here right across and then we have that office is over here right. and then this is the stairs with that i would assume would flip up and then that gets you down into the engine room uh, mm -hmm. yeah so yeah looks like we're definitely in covid vintage times because we've got a face, face mask, mask. <laughs> so probably not a, a highway robber on the boat <laughs> anyway this is our first time with this yeah. and uh I think this would be a totally viable option. So it makes a list. We'll have a list of kind of pros, cons, but I think this checks almost all the boxes. Right. Except possibly having uh, an aft cockpit where we could do good line handling sitting out in the sun. Even if it's like just like a four foot little space in, in, in the back to... Well, even if we didn't out. have a cockpit to have some sun upstairs and it seems like everything's just enclosed. Yeah, but we're, you know, fair skinned and <laughs> we get sunburned. And so I think... Anyway, we see it differently. I mean, if you look look here, though, you know, look at all this. You want to be in the oh, sun. Yeah, I can sit up front. You can sit up front. You can climb up, up here. You know, you can be down on the swim deck, or you could be out on the dock, or wherever we mm -hmm. are. Or you know, we'll launch the dinghy and you'll go to the beach. I mean, 
there are ample ways to get outside in the sun. I think for us and our family, how I see us operate, shade is kind of where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one thing I didn't see, and maybe yeah. it's in the mechanical description, is uh, AC units. So oh. I think AC is another one of those very, very nice to have. Because we're from the Pacific Northwest, we're not used to lots of heat, and our children are definitely kind of heat averse. So being in the South during the, well, we, during the winter, but being in the South at all will be a shock to them. Yeah, we'd have to read this a little closer to see. A boat this size, vintage, and quality would typically have a bunch of um, air conditioning it. systems. So, but I am not seeing it right off the top of my head. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining us on our first of these. Uh, we hope to do one of these a week or so. Mm -hmm. Happy hours! I think we had fun. Yeah. And uh, it's just fun to dream and to talk and to um, look through these. So. Thanks for joining us, guys. All right. Thank you. Cheers.